And one of the first things that uh, Odin Gallo said as a Manchester United player, uh, I don't know if you noticed, Dwight, but he says he idolizes you. You're his footballing hero. And he studies your movements along with Andrew Cole back then. And uh, how does it feel to hear something like that, to know that your legacy has echoed with players today? Yeah, well, I, I'm a bit fortunate. I, I went into a squad that was just world class. So football in, in that period of time was probably the argument the best spell of United history. And to be part of that treble winning team in terms of what we've gone on to, to win various trophies in the Premier League and on three occasions that no other team has been able to. So I've been very blessed. But to, to hear these younger players still as you said, mentioning the name and myself and Coley and Teddy and Ollie, who was the manager there. You know, you, you go in there. Before I went in there, there's other strikers that you have to emulate and try to, to better yourself. And I think he's got the challenge. So at least he got somebody to try and, you know, focus on in terms of getting good performance. So hopefully you'll be able to continue that along the same vein. Have you met him, though, by the way? And if you haven't, what would you say when you do meet him? Or like from one striker to another, one Man United striker to another, what would you say to him? No, I can listen. I will obviously wish him all the best in terms of, you know, when you're at United, you just got to embrace it because it is the best club in, in certainly in, in, in the world, in my opinion. And, and when you go to those places, instead of you, you get overwhelmed by it, I think it, you're more better off embracing it. And if you embrace it with the players like granted said around you, which is quality, you can only do well and, and just be positive. Enjoy the moment being there because when it's gone, when it's finished, it's finished. So why not enjoy yourself while you're there?